Okay, so we're done talking about velocity fields for a little bit. Uh, we're going to get into some fluid statics. Now I'm just going to introduce an equation to you. Uh, the change in pressure, or delta P is equal to rho G. Okay? This is the equation we're going to be using uh, throughout fluid statics. And all this is saying is the change in pressure, so let's say a final pressure minus an initial pressure is equal to rho, which is the density of the fluid, times gravity. That, that's all it is. And that this is the equation of this is the equation of fluid statics. Fluid statics. Okay? I'm going to define gamma, the Greek letter gamma, to be equal to rho g. Gamma is equal to rho g. Gamma in fluids is referred to as specific, specific weight. That's what gamma is. And gamma, or the specific weight, is, is basically the weight per unit volume of the fluid. That's all. The weight per unit volume. And it's related by the density. It's related by the density of the fluid we're studying. Now, I'm going to define SG to be equal... SG is our specific gravity. There's a difference between specific gravity and specific weight. And I'm going to define that to be the specific weight of the fluid we're studying over the specific weight of water, always. And that's equal to the density of the fluid we're studying times gravity over the density of water times gravity. Okay, and this is all specific gravity. And you see here the G's cancel out and we're just left with uh, the density of the fluid over the density of water. Now, some common gammas, or specific weight of water, in the U.S. customary units, I believe it's 62.4 pound per foot cubed, and in the metric unit, I believe it's 9.80 kilonewtons per meter cubed. So, if I were you, I would memorize these two because this is used a lot in fluid statics. Now, we're going to be studying incompressible fluids for a while. And incom all incompressible fluids mean is that gamma is equal to a constant. Or, the specific weight, the density of the fluid we're studying doesn't change. So we can't compress, we can't really compress water. However, we can compress air, or a gas. So, just from here on out, we're studying incompressible fluids. I'm sorry if that's spelled wrong, I'm a very bad speller. And incompressible fluids will be using the equation dp, or Let's derive the equation we'll be using for uh, fluid statics and incompressible fluids. So dp is equal to negative rho g change in height, a small height, okay? And all this is saying the change in pressure is going to be equal to rho g negative times the change in height. So think of, think of the ocean, okay? The deeper you go in height, the bigger the pressure becomes, right? If you go very, if you go to the very bottom of the ocean, the pressure is very, very large because there's so much of that water above you. So if you're standing here, well, you're probably going to be squished, okay? Anyway, if we integrated both sides and we said we're studying incompressible fluids, meaning this which is equal to gamma, all of this is a constant. So we can just take that out when we integrate it. And we'll get delta P 
is equal to uh, negative gamma integrate dh to get h or I'm sorry times delta h delta h okay and all this means is the pressure final minus the pressure initial is equal to the negative gamma of the fluid we're in times the final height minus the initial height that's all that's all that is so this is the big equation we'll be using in fluid statics and you saw how that's related to the density of the fluid we're studying okay uh, one last thing gauge pressure absolute pressure and atmospheric pressure atmospheric pressure is just the basic pressure at sea level and some common atmospheric pressures are 14.7 psi that's in US customary units and 101.3 kilopascals that's in uh, metric that's in metric units and gauge pressure so let's say you're you're filling up your tire and you put a little device into the part where you 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 force air into and you get a reading for the pressure of the tire well that pressure is not it's not the absolute pressure and absolute pressure is gauge pressure plus atmospheric pressure since atmospheric pressure is all around us we usually just neglect it okay so gauge pressure a gauge like the little device is equal to the absolute pressure minus the atmospheric pressure okay so when we when we're studying uh, fluid statics we're usually just going to worry about gauge pressure so we never have to include atmospheric pressure in any of our problems because it's it's there always and uh, we'll start doing some examples in the next video